The best sports decision since Bron Bron went to South Beach. It was LeBron going back to Ohio? Man, you so lebron out, dog. Be real. Be real. Be real for one. You ain't been real this whole show. Can you be real for one second, Sal? Oh, LeBron goes, leaves his true love, the kid from Akron. He leaves and he goes oh, to South say, he's Beach. He's still with Savannah. What you doing? <laughs> leaves his true basketball love. Okay. He goes from Cleveland to South Beach. Cannot be more polar opposite. I lived in Cleveland for a year. I've mm. only vacated to South Beach. Mm. You go to South Beach, much more attractive city just by city's aesthetics. Now you go to four championships, including winning two. You'd only been to one in Cleveland with the likes of Zildrunas, Ogowskis. And now you're out here with D-Way. You're out here with Aye. Chris Boss. Aye. Out here, Pat Riley running DJ Irie weekend. Like, you live in life. What? And after all that, yeah. you don't forget your first love. And you decide to make a decision to go back to Cleveland. Oh. Remembering where you came from. Remembering your roots. You lose in 2015 to the Warriors. you like, man, you could probably leave again. You're LeBron James. You can do what you want. 2016, you're down 3-1. You could start to think about leaving again. No way you can come back. But then you come back from down 3-1. Mm. NBA history, NBA finals, first time. Cleveland, this is for you. The no. best decision since LeBron made the decision was his decision. To go back to Cleveland. Hey, you calling me fake? Cleveland, this is for you. Who talks like that? LeBron. Who, who even LeBron. in celebration LeBron talks does. like there was a 300? <laughs> That's why Kevin Garnett messed it up, too. It Anything notable. is possible. Because they ain't getting fed this to say. They ain't really saying it from the heart. Let me say something from Please the heart. Do. Oh, because I love the fact that you went Miami. You said city aesthetics are better. You mean the whole damn city, period. What do you mean aesthetics? <laughs> to the stilts, that thing is better. Here's the thing. Let's talk about what I want to say best decision in sports. Let me think. I, I'm juggling right now. Tom Brady going to Tampa Bay is good pretty decision. good, right? Good but then I think about my boy KD, Kevin Durant, baby, joining the juggernaut in the Golden State Warriors, and then telling all of them, oh, what size shoe y'all wear? Because they all too small for me. I'm the big dog here. But then I said, nah, man, I'm L.A. to the core. La, 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 la. And I drive through L.A., star-studded, Hollywood signs everywhere. But there's been one young face taking over. And that takeover occurred because of the Chargers' decision to draft one Justin Herbert. Yes, the face of L.A. Yes, the greatest decision that's happened in the next decade plus. Us, we are solidified at the most important position with the best young talent in the game. And he had to fight all the resistance, not just the neighborhoods and traffic, but analysts like Acho, who were like, nah, this is not the guy. I don't know if you should draft him. When you were over the four letters, you weren't doing your research. You over there talking about, I wouldn't draft him. I wouldn't get him. And now he's all splashed on billboards looking like the Justin Herbert, the great he is. Bro, that's the greatest decision. Fox hiring me rivals that decision. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. Like, Fox uh, hiring uh, that, yeah, okay. that rivals that decision. Okay. Well, talk about a decision that's led to a change. Emmy is talk about it, like, Talk about a decision that's led to something great. You talk about Justin Herbert. Me and Justin Herbert got the same amount of billboards. What? He got I'm probably making more money than Herbert right now. He got a rookie deal. Talk about something serious. You said Justin. Oh, you just picked out you're the. Talking about Justin. You talk about, talking about a Are king. you talking about this guy right here? Look at that. Like, talk that about part. somebody worthwhile who's How, won something. What yeah, kind of decision right. is it? Hey, Dwayne Wade is sitting there already won a championship somewhere. Told Chris Boss to take third. Huh? He took them from being like a fifth seed to the it's best the team year before. They're still in the championship organization within four the years. The Chargers were a losing team last year. Will you stop? They were we had nine. injuries last year. You uh, decision. Your first. decision is terrible. Wow. The decision of your wow. decision is terrible. Do you ever plant seeds and let them blossom, or you just step on them? What's taking you so long? Justin Herbert is building something out here, my brother. Must I take you to horticulture class again? Go grab your dirt, shovel, and your hose. We're going out there, and we're gonna make sure that we take our time in planning something that's I refuse gonna be great. to say I'm so grabbing far. hoes on national television. I, look at I refuse you to say culture, that. that I'm grabbing you. dirt and they shovel. You know what? You're giving all me all this example. This is, this is you. What? You're so in love with your college sweetheart, you can't let go. She's you, married. Which one? <laughs> you said like that. She's married. Oh, that one? Oh, there's only one. Mm, okay. I told you I had a 3-4 GPA. I was focused. I'm like you. Oh, what, what, your what are Columbia doing? Well, I mean, if I went to Texas, I had a 4-3. So I didn't do that. Here's the thing. This is the problem. You think it is since it was first or he went back to his college sweetheart, Cleveland, where he grew it means up. something. 
It doesn't mean anything because you can still meet the person of your dreams later. Like Anna Marie, she won my college sweetheart. And look how great you our You always talk about the exes. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. This boy is on fire right now.